Hey there, everybody. What is going on? So you are looking to purchase a domain name and you need to go and find a domain name registrar that's going to have the best pricing, uh, preferably the lowest cost. But you're just wondering who out there has the lowest cost. Who should you go with? Right. And that's why you're here. So if you're short on time and you need the short answer, short answer is I use Cloudflare all day long, every day. It has the best price. It's the the pricing for Cloudflare is there at cost. All right. They don't mark it up. All right. It's the lowest cost I've found. It's all I use for my domain names now. Uh, it comes out to $10.44 a year with all the fees and what have you. Um, compare that with anybody else and it blows everybody else away. So if you're needing the short answer and you want to go on with your day, uh, that's the short answer. Now, for those that want a little bit more details on as far as uh, how I came up with uh Cloudflare and kind of the, maybe the pros and cons because there's some gotchas. There's definitely some gotchas. Let's jump in and we'll talk about that some more. So everybody, I am Sean with the Tech Gremlin Warrior. And what I wanted to do is kind of show you why it is that I use Cloudflare as my domain name registrar. In other words, anytime I need a new .com domain name address that I want to purchase, I go to Cloudflare. All right. Now in my last video up there, you can check it out we went over free web hosting for WordPress sites. So if you're wanting to learn how to use WordPress and you need a free hosting, uh, you want to be able to have themes, you want to be able to have plugins, things like that. Uh, we discussed how to go and do that for free. In this video, we're taking the next step. We're actually wanting to have our own domain name. So again, there's some costs involved to this. You can use free uh, domain names through Infinity Free, um, but if you actually want to have your own domain name, you do have to purchase that. And Cloudflare is where to have, make that happen. So, why Cloudflare? Again, number one, I said at the top of the video, and that was cost. $10.44 a year for a .com address. Now, other, uh, what they call top-level domains, TLD, top-level domains, uh, are going to have different pricing. Some of them are $25, $30. I mean, they get pretty expensive. Uh, luckily, a .com is the most common one. .com, if you can find the domain name that you want that is a .com, that's the one you want to go with. And uh, luckily, it uh, is pretty reasonably priced, okay? So, um lowest price that I found. The other thing that you've got going on with uh, Cloudflare is uh, it's typically more secure than other places. It's typically faster than other places. All right. The other reason that uh, I go with Cloudflare is um, I typically, even if I have my domain name registered somewhere else, because of the limitations of what I can do at each of those places without having to be upsold to, oh, yeah, you, you need to do that? Well, yeah, that's an extra charge. Cloudflare doesn't do that. I've been able to go and use Cloudflare for my DNS, even though I might have uh, my domain name registered somewhere else. For instance, I use Namecheap for years, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. I used it for years for all of my domain names. However... I found some limitations on what I could do with my DNS configuration. And I was constantly having to go and say, all right, yes, I've got my domain name registered at, uh, at uh, Namecheap, but I'm going to go ahead and transfer the DNS management to Cloudflare. And again, you can do that for completely free. That'll be in another video. Um, just so I could do what I wanted to do without having to pay extra. All right. So another pro for Cloudflare. So what I did here, again, I'm all about teaching folks to fish, all right? You don't have to take my word for all this. You can go and do some research. And I use uh, Perplexity AI for all of my research. It's kind of like my replacement for a Google search, all right? Um, and you can go in here. And uh, this is one of the chats that I've got going on with Perplexity uh, when I was preparing for this video. Yeah, there's preparation that goes into these videos, all right? And uh, I said, hey, I'm looking for uh, to purchase a .com domain. Who has the lowest price and what is the best domain name registered to register domain name and why is it the best? I threw in that why is the best because just because I'm using Cloudflare doesn't necessarily mean it is the best for you. What do I mean by that? The one caveat with Cloudflare is uh, they don't have um, 
very, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I believe they don't have paid, uh, not paid support, but telephone support. All right. So, um, they, they do have, uh, what's I'm looking for here? Um, support tickets that you can submit, but I don't know if they have phone support. It might be different. Okay. I, I could be wrong here, but because you purchased the domain, they might actually offer phone support. I haven't ever used them, but because you purchased the domain through them, they might actually have phone support for people who have purchased the domain. Uh, they're free DNS type stuff. You can't use telephone support. It's all through tickets. Okay. And or community. So that's kind of the one caveat there. Um, so if we go in here and look at what perplexity gave, came up with, let's, let's take a look at this here. Um, it's basically saying it gave us a, a breakdown. Uh, again, it came back with Cloudflare is widely recognized by offering dot, uh, com domains at cost, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Namecheap, the, the pricing here that it gave for name, Namecheap isn't correct. All right. And, and I know because I've got, I use Namecheap for years. Uh, I just got a uh, email from them to, um, letting me know that I, I need to re-register one of my domains. The, the yearly registration is coming up and I need to re-register it. And my cost for a .com domain at Namecheap with taxes and fees and all that other fun stuff comes out to $17.06. That's $17.06. Not a huge deal for a year compared to Cloudflare at $10.44. Again, not a huge deal, but if you have a lot of domain names, maybe you're somebody that collects domain names. Oh, I like that name, I wanna have it. Because uh, maybe somebody down the road will wanna purchase it from you, right? And so there's people out there that buy domains like crazy, and, and some of these people have hundreds of domains they own, you know, maybe even you know, thousands of domains they own, right? And you wanna keep your costs down, okay? So, um. The, the chart here is a little off, but I did get that fixed down below. Um, and, and if we look at this, it goes in here and talks about all the different prices. Um, I did purchase a domain through Portbun that, again, I've since transferred to Cloudflare. And you can do that as well. You can transfer registration when, when it's getting time to renew uh, a domain name through Namecheap. And, and I've done that. I've said, okay, I'm not going to renew through Namecheap because it's going to cost me $17.06. I'm going to go ahead and renew it and do it over at Cloudflare. And there is a way of doing that, okay? So, and I've done that. So it breaks everything down here. And again, this GoDaddy uh, is, is a, a .com renew, uh, address is, is more than 17 or is more than $12.13 here. And again, they've got these first year prices, all right? And that's just it. They got all these gotchas. The first year they give you a great deal. And then the next year you're, you're being just raked over the coals and having a, a, to pay a whole lot. Cloudflare doesn't do that. It's just a flat price, $10.44 for your .com uh, domain every year. That's it, all right? So if we scroll down, and I had some back and forth going on with Perplexity AI. I had a, a chat going on with Perplexity AI. And um, if we scroll through all this, um, down here I have a more comprehensive chart, and I included GoDaddy, all right, because you hear a lot about GoDaddy. Um, a lot of folks like to use GoDaddy. Uh, I, I say no. Stay away from GoDaddy at all costs. Terrible support, terrible pricing, um, just awful, okay? So um, the one thing that Namecheap's got going over Cloudflare is again their support and they have more bundled things that you can purchase through them like email hosting and things like that again add an extra charge cloudflare is pretty much just your domain name and your dns there are ways of setting up emails through cloudflare completely free by the way uh as many as you want and you would just set up your your gmail with a uh email uh, redirect um and you can set up as many emails as you want for your, for your domain name for free, but you would just be managing it through Gmail. And that's a whole nother video in and of itself. But, uh, uh, for, for those that are wanting, uh, an actual email host and not go through and have to do some of this configuration that you would have to do through Cloudflare, Namecheap would offer that at an extra cost. Okay. So for those that are needing a little bit more handholding and want that support, Namecheap's probably the way to go. Again, I haven't had to ever really 
Yes, there's been some some questions with Cloudflare that I've had to figure out, but I've never felt the need to actually get on the phone to call. Where with Namecheap, yeah, I get on the phone to call. And the majority of the time, they can't resolve it without having to upsell me. Yeah, we can't do that. Um, not on your plan. If you pay more, we can. And so Cloudflare, I don't run into that kind of stuff. With Cloudflare, and I've used it for years, the reason that I use it is because I almost always can do everything I need to do with it without having to, to pay extra, okay? And even if my domain name is registered somewhere else, I can use the free Cloudflare DNS management service and do everything I need to do without being upsold for free. You know, obviously it's free, right? Where with all these other uh, registrars, when I need to go and do something with my DNS, almost always it's like, nope, can't do it at your plan price. We can, we can upgrade you though. Okay. So those are some things to kind of keep in mind. Uh, if you are looking for the absolute lowest price and don't need a whole lot of hand holding, and again, I've found that you really, really, because you don't need a whole lot of hand holding because it does what you need it to do. All right. Cloudflare is the way to go. So that's it, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you're really enjoying these videos, subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.